the types of transport we use are varied types of transport equipment such as ground traffic, resort traffic, aquatic transport and aerial transport. Air traffic remained us of the aircraft but it was only in 1903 that the Wright brothers made a successful flight. Was there aviation before that? So if there was, but not by much. How is that possible? That's the hot air balloon. Today we will see how the hot air balloon flies and information on what helps it to fly. In general, our atmosphere contains a variety of gases, thus there are different types of gases like oxygen, nitrogen and argon. In each of these gases, its molecular density varies. For example, if the molecular density of oxygen is high, the molecular density of nitrogen and other gases is low. The hot air balloon flies by varying the density of this molecule. How is it? The balloon is full of oxygen. The filled oxygen is heated by an oven. When the air in the balloon is heated, the temperature of the air outside the balloon is low. Thus, the molecular density of the hot air in the balloon decreases. Thus, the air molecules move away from each other. This will increase the spacing of the molecules. This will cause the balloon to expand slightly. Now, the molecular density of air outside the balloon is high. Thus, the weight of the air inside the balloon is minimal. The compressed air below will push the balloon upwards. This balloon can carry a certain weight. Up to two or three people can travel. Let's talk about the parts of the balloon. This balloon is made up of nylon cloth. This set is named envelope. There will be some sort of goes around this nylon cloth. It's a separate system that is tied together. It's an underweight material. The bottom of the balloon has some sort of skit. The importance of skit system is that it can withstand the high heat of fire from the heater and send less heat to the air in the balloon. Buckets are tied together with this skit. There will be a fuel tank on one side of this bucket. Here, propane is used as fuel. In the same bucket is the passenger seat. The top of this bucket has heater that warms the air. As the air heats up, the balloon will start to fly up. That's to open the wall in this balloon to get this balloon down. When the wall is opened, the heat is released and the air temperature is reduced. Thus the balloon will start to go down. The wall is built with the rope and attached to the balloon operator seat. This rope will be pulled down and unloaded under the balloon when needed. This balloon is classified into two, one hot air balloon and another gas balloon. Let us see the difference between the two. As for the hot air balloon, the filled oxygen is heated by an heater and the balloon begins to fly. But the gas balloon is filled with gases such as hydrogen and helium instead of oxygen. The main reason for this is that the molecular density of hydrogen and helium gases is lower than that of oxygen. By filling these gases, the balloon can fly. This does not require any system of heater models alone, but it is expensive to fill gases like hydrogen and helium. Whereas, hot air balloon requires propane fuel. To cite another small example of flying balloons, we have already posted a video explaining the Archimedes theory of how the sea floats in ocean according to the Archimedes philosophy. When a substance is submerged, the molecular density of its volume must be less than or equal to molecular density of the discharged water for that material to sink. If not, the material will be submerged in water. Like this, a force known as upward buoyancy force helps to float an object. This is the same force that helps the balloon fly. I hope you have learned something today. So if like, share and subscribe to this channel also hit the bell icon to get every wonderful update immediately. Thank you.